here in the shop of uh, something new that we just got. It's a uh, Veda airbrush and it's a WD-182 and it just came in from uh, overseas in the mail. And uh, it's uh, I bought it on uh, eBay and I'm going to give it a shot and see what it's like and see how it works. And I wanted to uh, you guys to see what uh, it come with. So uh, here it is. Looks pretty nice. Glass bottle, not plastic. Metal on the top. Looks like it's well constructed. And uh, the body of the airbrush just feels really good. It's well chromed. It looks like it's really uh, well made. I've used uh, spray paint uh, devices for quite a long time. Uh, spray guns and stuff. But the larger ones. Uh, Banks, DeVilbus, different companies and uh, if you don't see plastic on them if you see all metal construction generally that's a good thing so this one looks like it's well pretty well made I'm going to unscrew the needle take a look in the needles in inside there the needle probably comes out for cleaning I imagine looks well made looks like a nice little spray gun I got a quick connector adapter on here and that came with it and they also included a little wrench to take the needle needle out so we're gonna give this a shot and we're gonna try it out right now and see how it sprays we have a hose connected over here and uh, we're gonna see what it can do so next thing we're gonna put a little bit of paint in there and we're gonna give it a shot and try it Okay, I'm not sure what this gun's going to do. We've got a few pounds of air pressure in this hose. We'll open the valve up. And we're going to plug the gun in. There. Or it doesn't really seem to be drawing any paint up as of yet. Maybe I need to increase the air pressure a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go over and increase the air pressure a little bit. See if that helps draw the paint up. So we're going to go over and do that right now. Okay, we're back and we've increased the air pressure. Really seem to be hauling paint up. Needle doesn't really seem to be going back. Well, it's probably something I'm doing. I'm just going to check here. Just this needle far farther this way. Just this back further. There we go. Starting to get something now. It's all in the needle adjustment. Okay, I see. Gotta go in this way. Try 
turn this needle in a little bit. Play with the needles just a little bit. Okay, this increases this way, increases the paint volume. Open this needle ever so slightly and open this needle a little bit more. See what happens. Okay, this one has to be out uh, tight. Yeah, there we go. Play with it a little bit. Putting it down kind of heavy there, right? <laughs> Let me just run over real quick and check the air compressor and see what kind of pressure we have in there. See, I got a quick release on that gun. I don't know. I don't think that cup will leak out. I'll lay it down like that. Should have some sort of a harness to keep it up straight, though. Would be a better idea. There. That's better. Okay. Good pressure at the air compressor. We're uh, we're running right at 42 pounds per square inch. So that's that gun right there. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to uh, just see if we can spray just a little bit more with it and see what all it does while we're at in this business here. Try this side. See if we can make a real fine line. It's picking up the paint just a little bit spotty when I try to go thin with it. Now if I just increase. It seems like it's better for an overall spray pattern like that. A wide spray pattern like that. It's doing a great job. With a wide spray pattern, it's for doing a fairly decent job. Uh, if I hold the gun quite a ways away, and do a wide pattern. We're spraying an overall area seems to be putting it down pretty good for a uh, when I go into a fine detail in close it uh, it's doing pretty good making a small line it's a little bit spotty there it could be how I set, how I've got the needle valve set might be why it's coming in just a little bit spotty there Yeah, well, okay, so that's this model. That's the WD-182 Veda Airbrush. But I, uh, I like the quality. Looks like it's really well made. 
all metal. Nothing really cheap looking about it. So that's that one. Hello, we did the Model 182 a minute ago. Veda airbrush. Now we're going to do the WD slash 130A model airbrush by Veda. Now this one came in from uh, uh, from overseas as well. And this one's a top feeder and like the other airbrush I just had, this one's all metal construction as well. Uh, with a little can that holds the paint up here on the top. I, uh, this one's for more finer detail work. But we're going to give her a shot. We're going to put the quick connector on her right now. Clamp it up nice and tight. And we're going to snap the top off here. And we're going to pour in a little bit of paint. Same colors we used on the other gun. In fact, it's the paint we had in the other gun, as you can see. We're going to put it in there right now. Pour the paint in. There we go. Snap the lid on there. And we're going to give her a shot. See how she sprays. It really feels good. It feels like a nice little gun. go. Oh, it's all metal construction again. And let's see what this baby can do. Oh yeah. Let's see. Hold the needle valve out a little bit there. Yeah, I like this little gun. Look in here. Oh yeah, quick access to the needle valve. Let's see if I unscrew the needle valve just a little bit, see what happens. Nothing. I screw that in tight. Try. Okay, we're getting paint. Try unscrewing this one a little bit. Oh, this one runs a really nice fine line. Of course, I must tell you, I think I like the, uh, I think I like this gun the best of the two. Uh, this is one heck of a nice uh, little gun, I think. I like it. Seems to be working real good. Top feeder. So now what we got to do is we got to clean our two guns out. Run a little bit of water through them because this is water-based paint. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing of these two uh, products and it's a uh, Veda company and I think they sell them through uh, Manda on uh, eBay. That's where I bought it anyway I believe. Manda airbrushes and they seem to be pretty good. They seem to be uh, pretty nice quality. All metal construction and at a good price point. So that's this unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.